up everybody I'm Soraya and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are, are safe and staying indoors I know we are all facing a very difficult time at the moment but nothing that we cannot overcome with time I mean I think the worst it's almost over just the fact that most of us are kind of following the government guidance of staying door yeah and just be hopeful that things will work out at the end so you guys please do keep your safe yourselves and your family safe stay at home as much as you can only go out for essentials or when you really really need to otherwise please do stay at home because i would love for you guys to keep on coming back to see my videos <laughs> so guys for today's video i am sharing with you my top 10 tips on how to look put together this was a highly requested video ever since i became a mother how to look put together and i totally understand now more than ever that it can be very difficult when you have a busy life or you're a mom or you have a very demanding career to look like you've you you made an effort without having to think too much to put too much effort into it i totally understand nowadays because i mean from before babies and now my life changed dramatically and oh and my style also had to kind of adjust with my new lifestyle so without any more further ado here are my top 10 tips on how to look put together so guys the first tip will be hair i think hair is important in any race uh, it doesn't matter if you have short hair long hair mid-length hair it doesn't matter as long as you you keep it neat and appealing that's all you need to do i believe that hair says a lot about a person and you don't even need to be fancy with your hair as long as your hair looks tidy well styled in a bun in braids your hair needs to be presentable not to mention that i believe is the th second or third thing that men look at so make sure ladies and gents that your hair is presentable second tip will be wear minimum jewelry a pair of earrings makes a huge difference as you can see if you wear at least a pair of earrings especially studs or even the hoop the hoops earrings it doesn't matter what style you go for automatically elevate your look and gives the impression that you tried uh, that can be a necklace or a bracelet a ring in my case on my day-to-day -day life i don't usually go all out when it comes to jewelry but the one thing that i focus on is having a pair of earrings and i personally like the studs version it gives me a more expensive look without trying too hard second one guys will be wear tailored clothing I think it's the easiest way to look put together smartens up the look instantly without you having to do anything to it a pair of tailored trousers a blazer or even a shirt it automatically elevates the look and gives that expensive and more thought about kind of look fourth guys will be iron your clothes it's very very important that you look neat you look like you at least took some time to think to look presentable i'm not sure if i'm making any sense i mean it might be silly for me to say that but you'll be surprised how many people forget to iron their clothes and when they out and about you just be like okay everything matches or everything kind of uh, goes together but damn there's a lot of wrinkles going on there so you don't want to look like that iron your clothes a night before that way you won't forget that way if you're late for your appointment or whatever you have to go you're certain and sure that you'll be walking out the door looking spotless so guys my fifth tip will be i keep going 
on and on and on about this but it works not only makes you look expensive but it's just the way it all blends in together wear monochromatic outfits i mean it doesn't matter if it's all black or white or red or um burgundy but by wearing one color simultaneously it makes you look like you thought about it this is not, not a, an exaggeration just try it i mean i think it's the answer or is it's the best thing that they invented after Chanel. <laughs> so guys, six will be look after your skin. And when I say look after your skin is make an effort to at least add on or put on a moisturizer. A moisturizer makes a huge difference. You don't necessarily need to wear a full face of makeup. As long as you have a moisturizer and an exfoliator moisturize often and exfoliate at least two times a week that will make a huge difference to your face so that way when you're busy or you're late to go somewhere you don't have to feel like you're naked one of my other tips will be when when you don't have the time to do makeup just focus on eyes lips How was it? Yeah. Good. Good. Focus on eyes, eyebrows, and lips. Hi. On eyebrows, you just need to brush it and make it look tidy. I actually read one of these days that the eyebrows are actually the first thing that men look at when they look at women or they meet someone. So yeah, make sure they look tidy and well put together. So for the eyes guys, you don't need too much. Just add mascara. In some cases, you're probably gonna need to curl your lashes, but either way, mascara will do everything. Curl your lashes and add mascara. That's all you need. For the lips, I would say it's a combination of a mouth, which I'm not so sure if I'm making any sense, but what I'm trying to say is look after your teeth, brush your teeth, and add either a, a gloss, red lips, or keep it neutral. I'm not so sure in terms of number where I am, but next one will be clean your shoes guys when i first came to the uk i've noticed that people really like to walk with their shoes very dirty i wasn't used to seeing that and i found very disgusting i strongly advise it doesn't matter if it's white black if it's a uh, leather looking make sure you look after your shoes have it cleaned take it to your um your how do you say just make sure your shoes are clean clean them before you get out of the house add layers to your outfit that could be a jumper on top of a shirt that could be a blazer on top of a shirt or a, a top of a top that could be a coat you name it guys you name it make sure you guys add layers and in some cases section next one will be tucking your shirt guys I know it can be very difficult sometimes because we all have different uh, body shapes but most of us can actually get away with tucking in our shirts. It's just a matter of you working out what you're gonna wear underneath it. For, for apple shape, perhaps a skirt will look better with a shirt tucked in. So guys, last one will be add perfume. Even if you're not the type that likes perfume, just a normal deodorant. Deodorant? Yeah. the last thing you want is having someone in a room with a strong odor so yeah perfume is a must and you guys you don't know the power of a perfume it's it's something else try it and then you will thank me later so guys for today this is it i hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 tips on how to look put together like subscribe click the bell icon next to subscribe so you don't miss any videos and comment down below your thoughts about this video if you have any other tips that we all can sh that you can share with you, all of us feel free to comment down below so until the next video bye